The UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has announced that general elections will be hend, held on the 4th of July. The surprise move has come amid growing expectations that the election would be held in late autumn. Now that would have given Sunak's government at least two years in office and much needed time to prove its credentials. So why did he pull the trigger now? The Tories would hope the element of surprise will serve as an advantage. Experts say that the current outlook among the public may not get any better and that there is no point in lingering. With this sudden move, it appears Sunak is trying to avoid facing the fate of Gordon Brown in the year 2010. But his decision to hold early elections has also received a divided response from his own party. The 14 years of conservative rule is one of the longest stretches for a single party in power in the United Kingdom in the past century. Second, only to 18 years of the conservative government that had began in 1979. This time around, however, the odds are not in his favour. If opinion polls are to be believed, Sunak is staring at a massive defeat. The opposition Labour Party led by Keir Starmer is expected to gain a rather comfortable victory for Labour. Starmer kicked off his campaign calling for a vote for change. He argues that only his party can snap the country out of its economic instability. If you want change, you have to vote for it. And if you vote Labour, it's a vote to stop the chaos. It's a vote to turn the page. And it's a vote to rebuild our country together. Sunak's government, on the other hand, accuses Labour of planning tax increases and being unprepared for global challenges. Sunak began his election campaign in central England with a mention of his flagship policy. He said that he expects to see flights taking asylum seekers to Rwanda by July. Now this would mean that no flights take off before the elections. UK's Reform Party has also hit out at Sunak's decision calling for early elections, claiming the Tory leader is terrified. As per the latest YouGov poll, the reform is better favoured than the ruling Conservatives. The truth is that he's bottled it. He's cut and run. Why? Because he was absolutely terrified, as Ben quite rightly alluded to, to the fact that Reform UK is going up and up in the polls with our common sense policies to save Britain, whilst the Tories have been sinking in the polls. Now, around this time just yesterday, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak had come out of 10 Downing Street just after a cabinet meeting and announced that UK will go to polls on July 4th. Now, just after that, a day after that, remember, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and also the opposition Labour Party leader, Keir Starmer, both of them have hit the campaign trail. Both of them were out there campaigning and wooing the voters with elections slated for July 4th. Deceitful and dishonest tactic is being used to try and deserve a second The opposition kissed off. Yeah. Uh, can I send my best wishes to the honourable member and his father also and all those suffering? Now remember the move has come amid growing expectations that the election would be held in late autumn. That's what was expected and a lot of experts from London were saying that. And that would have definitely given Sunak's government at least two years in office. And also much needed time to prove its credentials because remember Rishi Sunak took office at a time when just after Boris Johnson we saw another government come in and then Rishi Sunak had to take the realms at a time when UK's economy wasn't doing very well. And from there today, we know that July 4th will be the election day in the United Kingdom. And the Tories would hope that the element of surprise, this election's element of surprise, will serve as an advantage. Well, if at all that would be the case, that we will have to see.
warnings What's also important here is that the, this decision to hold early elections has received a divided response from the Tory party itself, which is Rishi Sunak's party. The 14 years of conservative rule is one of the longest stretches for a single party in power in the UK in the past century, second only to 18 years of conservative government that, of course, began in the year 1979. Failure at the heart of our national life, from the National Health Service to the Civil Service. Now, to take this further, we are now being joined by political analyst and commentator Dr. Nigel Fletcher, live from London. Dr. Fletcher, good to have you on Vion. What was your reaction to Rishi Sunak calling for early elections? Well, one of great surprise, like uh, most people, I think, in, in Westminster and uh, around the country. Uh, we really weren't expecting this election until uh, the autumn. And even as late as uh, 12 o'clock yesterday, the Prime Minister was still insisting that the election would be in the second half of the year, um, which technically it will be, but we were expecting it much later. So uh, one of, uh, of real surprise. Right. And you see that Rishi Sunak is really banking on its Rwanda policy. How much of that do you think will actually have an edge over the Labour Party? Well, it was thought that this was going to be a central plank of his election campaign. But in reality, there's not going to be very much for him to be able to point to in the campaign. The, the flights that uh, were going to be taking off that he was working so hard to try to, to get um, are not going to happen until later in July. He uh, admitted this morning that that's not going to happen until after the election. So he's, he's left now in a situation where he's promising something um, that will not have happened by the election and um, trying to persuade people to, to trust him to deliver it. But it, it makes the timing of it all the more surprising that he won't be able to point to that as an achievement by the time people vote. Dr. Fletcher, before I let you go, uh, do you think Labour sits at a comfortable position then? I think uh, there's there, there's no other way of looking at it, really. The Labour Party are somewhere around 20 points ahead in the opinion polls. It would take something hugely significant for them to lose that um, lead in the course of an election campaign. Even in the most dramatic turnarounds in elections, uh, we've only seen a, a much more modest shift in the polls. I think you'd have to look at these uh, election, uh, at the poll results uh, and say that the Labour Party really is, is set to win the election. And the only question is by how much they will win it. Absolutely. That seems to be the question. Dr. Fletcher, thank you so much for speaking with us from London. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.